place in Cape Town. Under the leadership of President Jacob Zuma and his Burundian counterpart, the two countries enjoy friendly relations with South Africa, having played mediator to end a civil war in Burundi in 2005. Acting Deputy Director of Trade Investment in South Africa, Yunus Hossan, joins us from our Pretoria studios. Uh, Yunus, thank you very, very much for joining us and welcome to Morning Live. Good morning. Now, South Africa and Burundi have already, they, they enjoy friendly relations. What, in your opinion, necessitated this business forum? Um, Leanne, you, as you're aware, President Zuma paid a state visit to Burundi in 2011 and invited Prun uh, President Kurunziza to visit South Africa. Uh, it's purely on the basis that the Burundian economy has now gone post-conflict and into the reconstruction and development of its economy and uh, has uh, a, a plan sort of uh, like our national development plan and has mapped out projects for investment and hence on the margins of the uh, state visit we hosted a business forum led by the Burundian finance and economic development minister who presented these projects uh, that they have mapped out in the short, medium to long term uh, as business opportunities for South African uh, business people. Yeah. Well, what kind of opportunities exist for South African businesses in Burundi? Look, uh, in Burundi is a very small landlocked country and post uh, the, the civil war, there's massive, even in the areas of where Burundi has uh, expertise in terms of uh, coffee, uh, agricultural exports. There's the area of uh, deepening and uh, the value chain of uh, agro-processing. But more specifically, they have a major energy problem, uh, massive uh, infrastructure development. We talked to in the business forum with Transnet, for example. Transnet is working in Tanzania. But if you link up the railway line of another 65 kilometers and rehabilitate the port in Lake Tanganyika, you open up the entire transport corridor for Burundi. And that will give them significant uh, economic development uh, opportunities uh, mm -hmm. for Burundi. We talked about they have a major housing deficit. They, they need to build about 30,000 houses per year. They only do 5,000. They're also looking at other alternative forms of energy to use in the in the housing area. We had one of our companies, Motlecker Construction, who's already agreed to go in and work with the Brazilian government on the housing side. So there are many other opportunities that are unexploited, Leanne, yeah. if, uh, such as the mining mm -hmm. uh, in copper, nickel, uh, you know, but uh, they don't have uh, soft and hard infrastructure like what we have in South Africa. They don't even have a major shopping mall. Sure. So there, there are lots of opportunities, what I'm gathering. I know that the, the two presidents actually signed a cooperation agreement um, uh, in, in the way of, you know, just paving the way for cooperation between arts, agriculture, defense, other sectors um, to deliver on these, these desired investments and trade opportunities. Does the infrastructure exist, though, between the two countries? The inf I mean, in this case, South Africa has uh, significant expertise in that kind of infrastructure that we've built. Uh, we still continue to build in South Africa and we've built in Africa. Um, we have tremendous amount of companies in South Africa that can uh, do this kind of work. I think the Burundian economy was very heavily relied on uh, donor funding, multilateral uh, funding. What we've done is that we've, we are talking to our DFIs, the IDC, DBSA, and ECIC to, uh, to look, as well as our state entities like Transnet, to look at how we can uh, package, uh, come with a financial package that we can work with our private sector to go in into Burundi to look at these, what they have in the short term, low hanging fruits for, for, uh, for immediate project opportunities. All right. Well, 
Let's uh, leave it there for this morning, but I think just giving you an understanding of what went down last uh, Tuesday with the Burundi, uh, the Burundi Business Forum uh, that took place between the two presidents of the respective countries uh, signing a cooperation agreement. But as you can see, that there are lots of opportunities that do exist uh, for the two countries to do business together. Thank you very much for being our guest, Yunus Hussan, who is the trade in, uh, with Trade Investment South Africa in our Pretoria studios. Thank you. All right, let's take a break. When we return, we're talking matric.